Hey guys, how are we all doing today? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Makeup Mommy family. And guys, if you are new to my channel, it'll be awesome if you can hit that subscribe button and join me here at Makeup Mommy. And if you do, remember and hit that bell as that will notify you every time I upload, which is Fridays and Sundays. So guys, we are talking about another new release from Revolution. This is another collaboration and this is a collaboration with a Polish blogger. So I hadn't myself really heard of this girl until obviously I seen the collaboration and I kind of went, had a look, you know, her Instagram, her YouTube um, and she is amazing, I have to say. Now I'm about to show you the palette. I'm wearing it on my eyes today along with another palette which we'll discuss as we get further in. But guys, I'm about to butcher this young lady's name, young girl, woman, I'm about to butcher it because I am so crap with names, but I'm going to try my best. So if I do mispronounce this name, I am very, very sorry. Um, so this is the Maksinska. I think that's how you would say it, Maksinska. Yeah. Um, Revolution palette, and it's the Beauty Legacy palette. Travel friendly, and this is the outer packaging. How sleek and... Oh, how elegant does this look? As you see, you've got her name across the front there, which I do think is Maxine Schke, but I could be saying that wrong. You've got Beauty Legacy there, and then you've obviously got that it's a travel-friendly palette. You've got Revolution at the top, their um, rose gold packet-like writing, which is standard for Makeup Rev. And you've got what, what looks like sort of a, a brush stroke across her name, which I think is really, really cool. On the back of this, you get the same sort of information as the front, but then you see this picture here, which is what you're getting inside. This is where you're getting nine eyeshadows. You're getting a blush, a highlight, and a bronzer. So you've got everything you need really to do a face right there. Um, you're getting 12 months for this palette. It is cruelty free and vegan. Um, you're getting three, which is your highlight, blush and bronzer at 0 0.1 ounce, which is three grams. And you're getting your nine eyeshadows, which is 0 0.04 ounces, which is 1.2 grams. And um, so when we open this up, let me just pop that out of there. As you see, it is a little bit dirty because we have been trying it out. So this is what you see. Again, it's just the same as the outer packaging. And the back, this time, you don't see that picture of your, your palette, if you like. You're getting all the same information on there, guys. Um, highly pigmented. Oh, this is it. Now, the true magic does indeed happen when you open this palette up. And there's one colour in particular that popped out to me and I knew I had to cover my entire eyeball with it when I saw it. Um, so I'm just going to open it up. You do get a nice little mirror in there. So that's quite handy. Again, it is a travel-friendly palette. <sighs> Now, can you guess what colour I had to coat my lid in, ladies and gents? Can you guess? It was this one right here, which is Orchid. It is a beautiful purpley, dual chrome oh, shimmer. It's just amazing. It shifts in the light. It's just a stunning, stunning shadow, guys. Um, you do get three shimmers, which is Orchid, Crystal and Copper, and the rest of your shades are matte. Um, enough transition shades, you know, you've got your pops of colour, you've got your black there, so you could create anything from a really daytime on-the-go look to that switching it up to that night glam look just like that without any hassle. Then you've got your highlight, your blush and your bronzer. Now I'm going to swatch everything here for you today, guys, um, and we are going to start with the blush, highlight and bronzer. Now the highlight is, is pure glow. Now I don't have that on today guys because I did attempt to wear it but for me it just wasn't giving me enough highlightiness. You know I'm not I wasn't blinding enough. It's very 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 subtle in my opinion anyway. So I'm just going to pop that down there. So as you can see, it is very, very subtle. It has that sheen to it, but it just doesn't have that pop. For me, it's not a highlight that I'll use very, very often. I would probably use this maybe to just highlight the brow bone, maybe the inner corner, um, but as a highlight, I don't think I would get any use from that at all. Now that might be for some people, but just for me, it's just not popping enough. Now we've got Love's Hue, so that was Pure Glow. Then we have Love's Hue, which is the blush, which I do have on today. And it is actually a very, very 
pretty blush and um, it just gives that flush of color you know it's not too in your face but guys you do need to tap your brush off because these do pick up a lot because they are so pigmented and um, so this is what that looks like there so like a peachy corally um blush you've got going on as you can see that is there so it is very pigmented and intense so just be careful remember to tap off your brush and i would say that for the eyeshadows as well guys tap your brush off before you go in there now the next one is the Grand Tan, which is the bronzer. And again, I got away with this today. You know, I'm wearing that today. Um, and it works for my skin tone, guys. And I am pale AF. I mean, most of my light foundations are porcelain. So that'll kind of give you an idea. Um, so this is the Grand Tan. So as you can see, just that really nice shade. You know, it's not too cool toned. It's not too warm. It's just that in-between shade. So ideal now i don't particularly know if this would work on deeper darker skin Um, i don't know if any of these three shades would i'm not sure about that but for my skin tone they do if it doesn't work on deeper darker skin that is a bit of a let down because i'm sure there's going to be plenty of ladies out there who like the look of this palette Um, the eyeshadow is definitely i, I think will work for everyone definitely 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 but i'm just not sure about the three face products working for everyone which is a bit of a shame you know um so then we're going to move on to the eyeshadows themselves now today i used canvas which is just a plain sort of ivory cream and i used that pretty much just to lay down a base set the lid and um, that's all I used canvas for. I went in with ash which is like a cool tone brown and um, almost kind of looks a little greyish but it worked so well guys it looked beautiful and it would look amazing if you were just doing that smoky natural eye it would look fantastic i also used brick so that's the top three the first row i used all of those and um, again just to warm up that crease you know just to add a little bit of color and then i obviously used orchid which is that beautiful beautiful purple duochrome it's just amazing i mean when you see it there it almost looks blue but when you apply it to the lid it is just that vibrant oh, it's just so beautiful guys um and i used petal that was the other shade i used here today which is a deep plummy burgundy shade i used that for the outer corner um oh, amazing guys amazing so now we're going to swatch all of these shades i'm just going to pop that down there and if my camera does happen to sort of move it's because i'm playing about with this palette down here so my apologies for that because i did notice in my last video that i noticed the camera moving slightly and that's why guys just the camera's trying to follow my face so i'm just putting that there so we're going to go in with canvas first which like i said is that just cream ivory shade and um, so we're just going to pop that next to the grand tan so as you can see it's barely there it's just really to lay a base down and a transition shade it is just a really nice color guys just fabby you could even use this though if you wanted to do something a little smokier on the out but just have this really just a wash of colour that would be ideal for that sort of situation as well then we're going to go in with ash I've kind of moved the palette so it's not moving my camera around um, and this is ash so like that it's, it is a brown but it's got that grey undertone going on there I really really like this shade believe it or not I do so that is ash right there so as you can see it is a brown but it does have that grey hint to it and somehow it just works. And honestly, these shades blended out in absolute dream, guys. I had no hassle at all with any of these. Now, the brick shade, again, as it suggests, it is like a bricky, orangey shade, guys. It's just a really, really pretty colour. And I used it, like I said, just to warm up that crease. And as you can see, these shadows are pigmented. You know, they pack a punch, guys. They're not playing around. <sighs> They're so good. Now... Two that I didn't use today, we're going to swatch, is Crystal, which almost looks like a baby pink um, champagne shade almost. So we're just going to put that next to Brick. That is so pretty, a little flaky there, but that could be me. But anyway, um, that is a stunning, stunning colour, guys. That would be beautiful, just as, like, even if, like, if you were doing a cut crease and having that, as the cut crease or even an inner corner highlight and um, you could do many a thing with this it's absolutely beautiful guys and look at that sheen on there 
Um, then we're going to go in with copper, which again is another shimmer. Um, and I, I didn't use that here today either. So I'm just going to pop that next door. So as you can see, these do... Oh, they are so pigmented, guys. They're so pigmented. When the box says highly pigmented, you better believe it because that is what these shadows are. You know, there's no getting away from it. Um, so then we're going to go to this petal, which I used for my outer corner. And guys, this is an absolutely beautiful colour. I'm in love with this one also. Um, so we're just going to pop that next door there. Look how pretty that is. Isn't it beautiful? So it's, it's sort of like that red wine, um, burgundy, plummy look. It's just a beautiful, beautiful colour. And just on top of that um, geochrome orchid, it's just stunning, guys. It sort of changes it from this to like a deep, deep, rich plum almost. Then we're going to swatch orchid, guys. Now, it is looking a little beat up because I did use it quite a lot today. So already it's looking beat up. Um, Oh yes, look at that. How pretty is that? It just shifts in the light, guys. It's so stunning. You know, just built up on the eye. Go slow with it, you know, just build it up. I used a small packing pencil brush, you know, not as tiny as a normal pencil brush, but it's slightly chubbier. And I used that just to pack it all on, pack it on, pack it on. I used my finger also, and honestly, it is stunning. I'm in love with this, I really am. Um, then we're going to go for smoke, which again I didn't use here today, guys. I did not use the last two of these. So this is smoke, which is like a deep, dark, chocolatey brown, as you can see. And then we've got night, which I'm sure you'll all know is a black. Now, as I'm swatching this, night doesn't seem as soft as the rest of the mattes. Night seems a little bit firmer, a little bit more gritty or almost, not gritty in a bad way, but just firmer. Holy smoke, that is black, guys. That is the kind of black I'm looking for. So there you have it, guys. That is your three face products there. So your blush, your bronzer, your highlight, and then you've got your nine shadows there, which guys, oh. Now, I'm going to come closer so you can see the look I created today. So as you can see, I've got Orchid all over the lid. And in my crease as my transition shades, well, um, I used, I had to look there, canvas um, just to lay down a base. The, we went in there with ash to sort of lay down a little colour. Went in with brick just to start warming those things up. And then we put Orchid all over the lid, which is just stunning. I then went in with petal, which is that red wine plummy look, and put that on the outer corner, making my way in. Now, on the bottom, the shadows are not from this palette at all. I've got leakage here, guys. I just noticed. Oh, oh. So annoying, so annoying, look at that. I'm gonna have to go and fix that guys because it's just going to annoy me. Okay, there we go, back. Nothing that a cotton bud can't fix. So <laughs> let's get back to this look, shall we? Um, so the underneath of my eye is two different blues, guys, and they're from two different palettes. I went in with the Nubian 2 from Juvia's Place and used Cleopatra, which is a really intense, rich, almost navy blue. And then I topped that with the beautiful blue shimmer from the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette. <sighs> I love these blues. Honestly, blue is my favourite colour. Um, and then I went in with a little bit of pellet, pellet, petal, just to sort of diffuse and smoke those colours out. And then I popped a little bit of purple liner in there from the I Heart Revolution Multi Bright Liners. Um, and that's my look, guys. It is absolutely, I really, really like what I've created here today. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm really enjoying the contrast between that blue and the vibrancy of the purples. Everything is working really well. It's not to everybody's taste, obviously. Um, this is a little bit more adventurous, but I thought when you've got colours like Orchid in there, you have to step out of that box and give them a go because just look at that. It is so stunning. This palette is really, really nicely done. And actually, guys, I don't know about you, but looking at this palette, I see Tarte as well. You know, this reminds me of a lot of the Tarte palettes going on. Um, it has that vibe. Um, I like that the names are printed on the palette. It just makes it easier. You know, you've not got the sleeve that you can lose. Um, 
I like the fact that it's magnetic as well. I love the fact that it's very slimline, very lightweight. You know, it's not a heavy palette for traveling with. And you do have everything you need to create a look. For me, definitely the highlight, I'm just not a fan of how subtle it is. I had to go in there with Ofra today. Um, because I'm loving that Rodeo Drive. It's just bloody amazing. Um, the inner corner, actually, guys, is a mixture of Moonlight from Tammy's palette and also the Elamasca palette. There's a, a, a white shadow in there that you think's white, but you put it on and it turns into like a bluey dual chrome. And I thought today with the purples and the blues going on, we had to put that in there on top of Moonlight, which just intensified it. It's just, oh... But anyway, guys, that is the new collaboration from Make well, not Make Rev from Revolution, and it is the Maxinska. Maxinska. Again, I'm apologies. It's so rubbish. I'm Scottish. What can you say? Um, and this is the Beauty Legacy palette, guys. Another stunning palette from Revolution. And guys, I have. Carmi MUA's palette on its way also so there'll definitely be a video about this one the Kiss of Fire palette I am super excited about this palette also so I can't wait for you guys to see it too um, and if you want to see a tutorial on how we did this look then leave a comment in the box below and I will get that done for you there is going to be tutorials coming up soon guys with the Tammy palette with this palette and obviously with Carmi's um, but when I bring a palette to you for the first time I want to try it out and get a feel for it so that I can come to you and say well this is okay this is not like I said for me the highlight about this palette is just it's not in my opinion that great and um, very 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 subtle you know it's just for me I won't be using it as a highlight for the face and also something else that's a little bit disappointing guys is the face products will not suit every skin tone so unfortunately if you are of deeper darker skin you're not going to be able to use the face products in here the eyeshadows definitely because they are deep rich and intense but the face products I don't think you'll get away with using which is a shame Um. But that is just my opinions, guys. That's not everyone's opinion. These are my own, and it's just what I think of the palette. The highlight for me, no go. Um, the blush is nice, the bronzer is nice. You're not going to use it for every skin tone. Um, and the eyeshadows are absolutely beautiful. So this is £10 from Revolution Beauty. Um, I don't know when it's going into Superdrug. I would imagine maybe the end of the month, beginning of June maybe. Um, but as you can see here today, pigmented AF. So guys, that is it for me today. If you like the look of this palette and you've maybe bought it or you're thinking about buying it, let me know in the comment box below. Or if you just don't like the look of it, again, let me know in the comment box below. Um, and if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, guys, it would mean a whole bunch if you could hit that subscribe button and join me here at Makeup With Me. And if you do, remember and hit that bell so that will notify you every time I upload, which is Fridays and Sundays. So guys, wherever you are in the world, day or night, Stay safe, have a good one, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.